All right, shalom to the nation of Israel and to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, and Chakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem is in the name. And Yahweh Shah is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to give double honors to my elders and my elder apostles of Great Millstone, telling me this truth and all down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, Akim, not south of pushing this truth. Okay, it's the brother Barakim from the GMS branch out of Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another video through the Holy Spirit. All right, and uh, as you can see, the title of this lesson, all right, it says uh, uh, Eternity Starts Now. All right, and this uh, topic was uh, inspired uh, from a couple of precepts, you know, uh, within the read that we had this week in uh, Second Edris, you know, and the Spirit was on me to put some uh, precepts together and do this lesson, you know. So, uh, Lord's willing, this video is edifying. All right, and um, I'm going to start off with this in the book of uh, Second Edges, chapter 2 and verse 42. It says, I, I Edges, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Okay, and this is uh, talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. And it says, uh, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? And he said, and, and he said, it's like, and he answered and said unto me, these be that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the most high. Now are they crowned and received palms. Okay. So it says that these are, they was put on, put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal man. All right, and it, it kind of lines up with um, with the one in Ephesians where it says, um, put off the former conversation, the old man, all right, and put on the new man, okay? And how do we put on the uh, uh, the new man, all right, which is through this, uh, through, this will, uh, through this wisdom that we have, man, okay? That's how we become uh, 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 immortal, man. It all starts with this wisdom. Let's grab this in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 17. It says, now when I consider these things in myself, and I pondered them in my heart, all right, which is talking about your mind. It says how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality. OK, so to be allied uh, uh, unto this wisdom that we have, OK, unto these words is how we become uh, 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 immortal, man. OK, and it's, and it's going to change into being uh, physically immortal, man. OK, because right now we're still in these uh, uh, fleshly bodies, so we can't be. Immortal uh, uh, in the flesh, man. All right, it starts off. It starts in the mind, man. Being uh, transformed by the renewing of the spirit of your mind, man. Okay, that's how we become those new creatures, those that that new man. Okay, let's grab this just to show uh, uh, that this wisdom is the word. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter four and verse five. It says, "Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep." Keep it's like it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and, and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Okay? So this word is the wisdom that we have. This is our wisdom and our understanding, man. Okay. This is what uh what's gonna lead us to uh, uh to being Im uh, uh immortal, man. Okay. It all starts now, man. Putting off that old man, putting off the uh, uh, the mortal man, man. Okay. I want to grab this as well in the book of uh, Sirach chapter 19 and verse 19. It says, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do these things that please him shall receive the fruit of immortality. It says, and the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Okay. Because what it says that the beginning of wisdom is what the fear of, the, uh, is the fear of Yahweh Shemel Shah. Okay. And it says what it says in, in, in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency, man. All right. So it says uh, it says it says in all wisdom is the performance of the law, man. We have to be uh, uh, doers of the word, man. All right. Just that's what it says in the book of James. Right. It says be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. OK, so we have to be applying these uh, uh, this word, man. All right. I have to be applying these words, man, because it starts it starts off with me, myself, you know, uh, 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 um, before I can uh, 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 let another or tell another brother uh, uh, to do it, man, you know. Hey, but that's how we get to the immortality, man. All right. Applying this knowledge, man. 
in our everyday lives, man. We have to be filtering uh, uh, um, uh, our life with the, uh, with the with these words, man. With these script, with these precepts, man. Okay, because what within these precepts is everlasting life, man. It says that it is the doctrine of life. <laughs> okay, everybody wants to live forever. You know, if you want to live forever, well, we have to apply these words, man. Okay. But, um, uh, let me see. Let's jump down, um, slack it, not jump down. Let's jump over to the book of, uh, second edges, chapter two and verse 10. All right. It says, thus said the Lord unto Edris, tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I have given unto Israel. It says, their glory also will I take unto me and give these the, the everlasting tabernacles, which I have prepared for them. All right. And that everlasting tabernacle is talking about those new bodies, man, the, those physical bodies, man. All right. That we're going to uh, 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 that's going to be immor immortal, man. All right. That's never going to die, man. OK. And it says they shall they shall have the tree of life at, uh, for an ointment of sweet savor. It says they shall neither labor nor be weary, okay? Because within it, with the kingdom of heaven, man, we're, we're not going to labor, all right? <laughs> well, we don't, we're not going to uh, uh, lift a finger, man, all right? We're going to have uh, 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 slaves, man. We're going to have servants, okay? Which is uh, which is these other nations, man. What is that? Uh, Psalms, uh, I believe it's Psalms 140. I, I, I get it mixed up. I believe it's Psalms 149 where, where it talks about the... Uh, uh, talks about uh, executing the judgment upon the nations. All right, with a, a, a two-edged sword in our hand. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. You know, but hey, hey that's what's going to take place in our kingdom, man. All right, but it says what it says that we shall not, uh, neither labor nor be weary. Okay, <laughs> hey, in the book of um, Isaiah. Matter of fact, let me grab it. This is um, the book of Isaiah, chapter forty and verse thirty-one. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew, shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. OK, <laughs> so it, 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 when our Lord returns, man, because it, it talks about that in the uh, book of first Corinthians about being uh, changed in a twinkling of an eye. All right. It says that uh, uh, that that we shall renew uh, our strength, man. It says mounting up as wing, uh, with wings as eagle. That means flying. All right, uh, uh, that's like a, a mini Superman uh, uh, or a greater Superman. <laughs> All right. It says that they shall run and not be weary. All right, you're gonna be able to uh, run as fast, uh, faster than the Flash, man. You know. Hey, this is this is what's gonna uh, uh, take place, man. All right. If we're waiting, if we wait upon the Lord, man. If we if we continue to continue to put on. Uh, uh, put off the mortal and put it on the uh, the immortal man. Okay, this is this is what uh, what awaits us, man. Man, <laughs> yeah, when you think about it, it, it it's is magnificent, man. You know, but um, what was I slack here? Um, Uh, let me see. I'm going to read the, I'm going to read verse uh, 31 again in not Isaiah. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. All right. That's right, man. We're, we're not going to uh, uh, never get tired or right, we're, we're never going to faint. We're never going to, uh, we're never going to die. We're never going to, we're never going to get sick. You know, no more sickness, no more depression states and all this, all this uh, 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 darkness and so on and so forth, man. OK. And we're going to be, uh, uh, be in, uh, in a joyful spirit, man. All right. Uh, uh, when, uh, when, when, when our Lord returns, man, you know, and in the kingdom of heaven, man. Lord's willing, we're, uh, we're a part of that number. OK. But um, this is a. Um, that was it on that uh, second edges too. All right, so I'm gonna jump over to uh, the book of First uh, John chapter three and verse two. It says, "Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we sh but we know that." Slack it. I'm gonna start over. It says, "Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He shall appear, 
we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. OK, so it says uh, uh, um, when he shall appear, we should be like him or right? we should be like our Lord. Yahweh Shai. All right. Because what it says, uh, uh, scriptures talks about how he shall not meet uh, uh, meet us as a man. All right. The Lord is going to come, come back in, in his new form, man. He's going to come come back in his uh, uh, his his it's like in his um, immortal uh, uh, body, man. OK. And we and we hope to uh, to be the same, man. All right. Let's get this in the book of uh, that first Corinthians that I uh, mentioned. This is first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. It says, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high. Neither do corruption inherit incorruption. It says, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all, all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And in a moment and in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall, uh, shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and the mortal must put off. It's like an immortal must put on immortality. So when the all right, so we're, so we're gonna put on uh, uh, those uh, those those uh, everlasting tabernacles, man. Are those new bodies? Okay. It says, uh, verse fifty four says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Okay. Hey, so, uh, so when we get those new bodies, man, we're never going to die, man. We're never going to age, man. We're going to look young. All right. We're going to, uh, uh, everything is going to be nice, clear face, man, bright. Hey, man, it's going to be beautiful, man. All right. But it said, it said, uh, uh, those that wait on the Lord, man, we have to wait on Yahweh Shai. All right. We have to endure, uh, the things that we're going through, uh, on this side and keep, uh, keep putting off that old man and putting on that new man. All right, so so that we so so that we can see the uh, receive the the reward, man. Okay. Um. That's pretty. Matter of fact, I'm gonna actually grab this in uh, Ephesians. This is Ephesians chapter four, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end it here. But this is uh, Ephesians four and verse twenty two. It says that you put off con concerning the former conversation. All right, the former conduct, the old man. All right, which is corruptible according to the deceitful lust. It says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. OK, and the way that we do that is, is by uh, uh, applying these precepts, man. All right. Being allied with uh, unto wisdom. OK, because this is the uh, uh, how we get to uh, um, to uh, immortality, man. All right. It all starts now, man. Applying these scriptures and. And, 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 and uh, use them in our everyday life, man. All right. But uh, with that being said, Lord's willing, this video is edifying. All right. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushua by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honor to my elders and my elder apostles of Great Millstone, time the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to your brothers and to you, Akim, that's out the person's truth. All right. Until next time, Shalom.